I've got hey y'all and welcome to my channel kitchen notes from nancy I'm if you're new here i'd like to welcome you to our neighborhood and i hope you decide to subscribe before you leave today and if you're already a member of our neighborhood i'd like to greet you with the customary hey neighbor in today's video i am going to share with you the perfect quick salad for a hot summer's day this salad is excellent for all of your cookouts and celebrations uh, throughout the summer so before we hop into the video you already know what I need go ahead and give me a quick like to let me know that you like the content that I'm putting out and to also let YouTube know that you like the content I'm pu putting out so without further ado let's hop into let's hop right into this cool and refreshing tomato cucumber and onion salad let's go So of course you're going to need a cucumber and I'm using some small cherry tomatoes You can use a big tomato if you want, but it's just easier to use these I'm using red onion when it's going to be raw Red onion is best and as y'all know, I don't really care for raw onion anyway uh, For mine, I like to add feta cheese You're going to need some lemon juice So I have a lemon here a little sugar um, and for my seasonings, mine is a little bit different. So I use black pepper and salt, but I also like to use a little Italian seasonings um, just to complement, you know, I don't know, that feta that's in there. I just like the way it tastes. Um, then I have apple cider vinegar, regular vinegar, and olive oil to make the dressing. So as you can see from the ingredients, Mine is a little bit different, but it is so awesome. I promise if you make it this way, you won't want it the standard way anymore. So without too much more talking, let's hop into assembling these ingredients. So for my cucumber, I do take some of the peel off of it. So I just take a potato peeler and I'm not gonna take all of the peel off, just some of it. I like the way some of the peel looks. So, it looks like I just lied because I'm sitting here taking most of the peel off, but you get the idea. I know some people don't like to eat the peel and that's fine, you know, that's just kind of up to you. So that's pretty much what I'm going to take off. Now I'm going to cut the ends of the cucumber. Give you a better angle. So I peeled it off and I left a little bit of the peel on. And so now I cut the ends off and I'm gonna cut it in half. And then I'm going to cut it in half again. All right. And so now I'm just going to cut it into pieces. And I like for my pieces to be bite sized. You know, some people like for theirs to be a little bit larger, but bite size is fine with me. And this salad is good on a really hot day here in Alabama. It is starting to get hot. Uh, it's the beginning of June. So we are starting to approach those 100 degree days. And this is a great salad for like the 4th of July or a night that you're just going to grill out. These are, this one's still kind of big, so we're gonna cut it in half again, just to get a few smaller size, size, slices. So, yeah, this one, this one is just an easy one. And tonight, I am going to um, actually be doing the video on fried chicken along with this. Um, 
as well as maybe the peach cobbler. I may wait and do the peach cobbler video um, tomorrow. That video was requested a really long time ago and I don't remember who requested it, but I am gonna go ahead and get that out for you since peaches are in season. All right, so now we have our cucumbers in the bowl. And I rinsed my tomatoes off. Whoa! Runaway tomatoes! All right, so we are just going to cut these in half. Okay. And you can use a big tomato if you want, but whenever I'm making salads, um, pasta salad or anything, I don't know, I just tend to like the little cherry tomatoes. And this salad is actually going to be going to one of my friends. So. So y'all tell me in the comment section, what is the weather like where you are? Um, I really think we're starting to get into what my mama always called the dog days of summer. And that's where it just rains every day. You know, at some point, almost every day, we have started to get a little bit of rain. So maybe we're in, I have to call my mom and ask her. But what is the weather like where you are? You know, most of us are still kind of in that social distancing. So this would be a good um, salad to take with you if you go to the lake or something for the day. Just put it on ice in um, a Yeti. Because I like to eat this salad actually when it's really cold. It doesn't have to be, but to me it just tastes so good. Like the dressing does something to it when it's cold so now we have our tomatoes and our cucumbers and we are going to start with our onion now because i am not an onion lover i am going to I only use half of this bad boy, okay? So, I'm gonna use half of it. Take that skin off. All right, so cut it. And we're gonna just kind of slice it to some little pieces here fairly small try not to cut myself so this is all of the onion we're going to use that'll put that oniony flavor in there for us without doing too too much all right so now we have our onion we have our tomatoes and we have our cucumbers now we need to work on our dressing so i have this mason jar here because believe it or not today i am going to try and give you <laughs> some measurements so i am going to do my best to give y'all some good old measurements today so a third of a cup of white vinegar
And this is the apple cider vinegar with the mother on it. So in it, so you know, gotta give it a good shake. And I'm gonna go a fourth of a cup of apple cider vinegar. I prefer the apple cider to the regular one. Okay. We are going to go in with an eighth of a cup of olive oil and I'm using the light tasting oil. Time for lemon. And I am going to do two tablespoons of lemon juice. So that's one tablespoon. And I'm not using a squeezer or anything. I'm literally just over my sink squeezing this lemon and just trying not to drop any seeds in here All right two tablespoons of lemon juice i'm gonna do a fourth of a teaspoon of black pepper we're gonna do a fourth of a teaspoon of salt And we're just going to do a pinch okay let's just say that that's a fourth of a teaspoon too um that because that's a little bit more than a pinch huh? and we are going to close this up and give it a really good shaky shake all right, I'm gonna taste a little bit of this. Oh yeah, so, so good. All right, so now, y'all, I set the sugar to the side and forgot about it I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the little bit of dressing that I had left this was the dressing that I didn't use on there but we are gonna shake that up anyway and now we'll use the rest of this and you will see the clip of me finishing because I finished and then I looked over and saw the sugar and said hey you didn't put that in here so just FYI now you're about to see me finish this video <laughs> all right so bye guys we are going to dress our salad and it's going to create you may have a little um extra dressing and that's fine just mix it up some people like theirs heavily dressed so it can kind of marinate in the um seasoning so it's really just you know what you like now I'm gonna go in with my feta. And y'all, honestly, I just feel like feta makes everything better. Feta is one of my favorite cheeses. Like I legit eat feta by itself. Um, And if you really wanna dress this up, 
you can go in with olives or you know whatever but honestly there you have it a cucumber tomato and onion salad all right as always thank y'all so much for being a part of this channel and until next time bye neighbors <laughs>